Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with some Little Cup suspect test laddering. Now, you heard that right. Volfix is currently being suspect tested in the Little Cup tier. If you want it too long, don't read. I'll go to the thread. It literally says, suspecting Volfix because Sun is too good right now. Obviously, Volfix does have drought. And with abusers like, um, like, uh, Bellsprout, which is ridiculous because of Poison Z charged Sludge Bomb and Bulbasaur. Sun is definitely something that is scary to face. Um, and especially with like Porygon being banned from uh, Little Cup, it just doesn't, it's just tough to deal with. And also Fletching, um, obviously Gale Wings being nerfed as well, not only hitting Talonflame, but hitting the baby forms like Fletchinder and Fletchling uh, in this tier. Sun is just ridiculous to deal with. So they are suspect testing Vulpix. I've known about this for a little while, but I didn't record it up until today. I was still iffy about it, but I did want to try it because um, if Sun does stay, I want to at least know how to play versus zero because uh usually in summer that's when i start road to top 10 uh, where i take on every tier and try to get top 10 in them all and little cup is part of that or is a road that i do take a part of so i want to at least try and familiarize myself with it before i start taking it more seriously in the summer so we're gonna be using this not today sub hub team that mv ended up making before uh, we got Darkium Z Snatch, Pawnyard, really, really fun. Gives you plus two speed and also snatches your opponent's uh, potentially setup moves or support moves to use. We have Choice Scarf, not to, not today, uh, with Magic Bounce. This thing was so fun when using it. It's Gator, the Life Form Adamant Swine. It was actually called Friend, but I had to change the It's Gator, man, because that man loves Adamant Life Form Mammal Swine. This is just its baby. We have Baby Envy, speaking of babies, the Scarf Lit Leo with Moxie. Uh... We have to use a low Vulpix today. We have to, because Vulpix is being size protested, but we got a low Vulpix right here. So, end up using this. I can't give it 17 speed IVs because you have to be level 100 to be, um, to have that training. I forgot what it's called. Uh, you have to be level 100 though to have that perfect IVs, and this is obviously level 5. And, uh, on a timer, the Focus Ash Venipede. So, I don't have too many games, uh, but I did want to at least try and familiarize myself with what it would be like if Vulpix is gone. And um, though I am on the bottom of the ladder, we should, you know, have some fun, fun games. This guy has no psych resist, so come on. Well, I guess he realized Natsu was here. He realized Natsu was here. By the way, have you guys seen the background? It's clean. Also, if you guys want to go and check out the Beast Boost merchandise available till March 30th, 16 more days. We got the Beast Boost red shirt. Well, it comes in different colors. You have hoodies that come in a bunch of different colors. Uh, mugs. I got black personally. And then stickers if you guys want to go ahead and pick them up. The link is down below. Um... Alright, so we got another game. This guy has Route 1. Is this all Route 1? Maybe Route 2 of Sun and Moon Pokemon? Maybe Route 3? Uh, we got Jangmo. Remember, that thing was a pain. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what these mons do, which is why I'm familiarizing myself a little cup, but it should be a bunch of fun anyway. We're gonna get up a spike. I got my speed boost. I know I'm faster anyway. Oh, you wanna Dragon Dance up on me? That's fine. I'm about to put him on a timer. Shout out to Venipede. It's a clean name. <laughs> put that man on a timer. It hits me with a headbutt. What? I feel like- wait, wait, did this happen to me before? I swear, I swear when Envy and I recorded a Little Cup, I got headbutted by something. I swear. I mean, I have- I have It's Gator in the back. I got the Swine up the back, so we're just gonna get up some more spikes. Uh, because Swine up scared of this- why did he have a headbutt? I'm about to tell him to use- I don't want to tell him to use Return, because somebody got mad at me when I gave them advice before, even though I was just trying to help them. Uh, but if you- I mean, if you don't want advice, that's fine, so. Hit him up with a nice Adamant- like, that's Adamant Life Orb! Let's tell you who wouldn't have done that! Eviolite Swino would not have been able to KO, but we got Adamant, Life Orb, Swino, it's a girl too, it's not Thick Fat though, we got Snow Cloak because we're trying to abuse his hail real quick, um, Swino also at speed tier is really solid versus my opponent, I think it just wins, <laughs> that's not a counter buddy, that's not, a, that's not a counter, go ahead and get Crash, oh, he lived, no, nice flinch, okay, standard dot, it's Gator, you know what, I'm about to get a Rocks too, you ain't killing me, I'm about to get on my rocks right now. Ah, uh, look at that. It's Gator coming through. That's exactly how Gator tries and beats threats, too. He has a, an appropriate switching. Like, I definitely had an appropriate switching being, like, Leo or something. Or even Natsu could probably take it on. Or even Ponyard, even though Natsu and Ponyard would be um, neutral to its bug stab. Um, but we had to go the It's Gator way, man. We had to go the It's Gator way. All right, so we definitely have a more, um, I think, a more serious team, I want to say. Uh, Ponyard is really solid in this, though. If my opponent wants to defog, I do get the Defiant Boost. 
the boost to boost. So we don't lead off with on timer. I'm assuming he's gonna lead off with a pump. Kind of wish we had protect on this thing, but that's okay. Uh, what we could do is uh, lead Venipede, get up spikes, and then go out into Leo after to revenge kill the a pump. I think that's the best play. And just click wild charge. Uh, assuming that's gonna be able to knock it out anyway. I don't know. I don't know. It might be able to knock him out. I'm not entirely sure on little cup rolls. I'm assuming it is life orb a pump though. Could be berry juice. Could definitely be berry juice. I know it has skill link, fury swipes. Rob Gas, what you thinking about doing? I love his team though. I love Machop. I loved Machop back in uh, Diamond and Pearl Little Cup, DVP Little Cup. Really, really fun to use. Um, mods like Mantike as well. I remember those back there. Uh, I think Gligar. Pretty sure Gligar. I don't, I don't know if Gligar ended up getting banned, but I remember using that as well. I uh, actually have a few Little Cup battles on my channel. So we're gonna get up our uh, our nice spike. Okay, so he's normal gem. Which means he's more than likely um, last resort or something like that. Which means I do want to go for a Flare Blitz to actually knock him out after going for a spike. Though it will give Starmie a spin. Oh, he's Fire Punch. Okay, so he's just normal jump. Alright, that's fine. Um, let's see. How do we knock him out? Buddy? I swear it's Gator has no switchings. But I want to keep this thing alive because Volley B is a threat. So I'm just going to go out into Baby, Envy, the Lit Leo, and just click Flare Blitz. It's Choice Scarf. It's, it's it's really strong. It fails to KO. But Envy, doing what he does best in his recordings, hacking his opponent, somehow making it out of a win. Nah, nah, no, no disrespect, Envy. That's my boy. Um, but that was a... That was a that was a turn right there. Uh, we'll go out into our Vulpix. I don't really have switches to this. It's straight up offense and it doesn't have any Violet users. But we do have Vulpix. We can get up the snow. <laughs> the snow. We can get up the hail. And uh, if you want to spin on me, you will die. You will die right now. Show me your freeze dry switchings. Yeah, so my opponent ends up going right for the uh, Scald. Which is great because I can go right out into my Leo one more time. Um, I don't see a good wild charge switching. I mean, you do have... The Hone Edge, but I have Ponyard in the back to revenge kill. So I'm going right for Wild Charge right here. Sacks the Apon, which was a solid play. This probably was the best play. Um, but we're going to be able to get our Moxie boost right now. And this is a threat, man. Uh, he does have the Machop, which is extremely, extremely threatening. But at least this keeps out Pokemon such as Staryu and Vullaby. Now, Hone Edge comes out. I'm going to go route to It's Gator because we got the Snow Cloak right here. Well, I want to actually, actually keep it to get her live, but we got Snow Cloak right here. Unfortunately, that was just not enough. That was just not enough. <laughs> However, we can go right out to Leo and just click Flare Blitz and Revenge Kill. This is probably one of the best um, answers to Honage in the game. Same thing to Aegislash Slash back in the day. You had uh, Pyroar as like the best answer. Never, it wasn't really like a good Pokemon, not to say. Uh, like, at least in OU, it's not like a solid mod to use. But it was still an answer because you resist the um you resist the uh you resist iron head the steel type attacks and you also are immune to the ghost type attack so baby emmy right here getting our moxie boost we are now plus one show me your counters show me them and all i needed was damage off on that um uh, all i needed was damage off on half his pokemon i'm assuming he's just gonna bullet punch me to get me in in range of flare blitz recoil that was a crit and it did not kill Holy crap, man. How are you not going to kill with a crit? Ah, oh, that's bad. That's bad, 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 bad. <laughs> that is straight up bad. Um, however, what can we do here? I guess we got a knockoff. It's our only play. Because that barrier isn't released. You could be Scarf. There's no way you're Scarf if you did 81% off a crit on plus one. So definitely a Violet. Yeah, so we'll knock him out uh, with that. And then what we could do is... Uh, Munchlax wants to go for Curse. Well, I don't think it'll go for anything like that. I'm just gonna knock it off. And then I'm gonna knock it off and then I'm gonna brick break it. Yeah, that's fine. We we ate that. <laughs> we didn't really eat, but <laughs> we lived it. So we can knock out Munchlax with a brick break. I think we lose this game, guys. I think Hone Edge comes through right now. Uh assuming Shadow Sneak does knock me out, yeah. So that's gonna be a good game. I I just got throttled. Um I have nothing else to say, I got throttled. Good game, dude. Not to, not to actually ends up picking up the kill. Hold up, hold up. If you don't have Dark Pulse, if you have Air Slash, maybe if I can crit you, burn you. <laughs> that did nothing. <laughs> yeah, so that's a good game. Um, so we have to play a different way versus Star U teams, and also teams like this with potentially Scarf Mankey, which is a huge threat. Uh, Venipede's still the best lead, even though my opponent doesn't have a fake out user. Though, I mean, if my opponent really wanted to, I would go right for Furious Wives, to be honest. I think that would knock me out. Uh, 
but we'll just get up our spike here and proceed to revenge killer after or something like Vulpix potentially yeah Vulpix is I'll, I'll mind Vulpix to revenge killer hey um I really don't mind something like Vulpix to revenge kill we need definitely some prior damage though I mean it's specs though it's specs it should be able to live it should definitely be able to live and this is a specs blizzard coming out I'm specs this is a specs blizzard yeah, knocking me out. I'll pray both picks live this out. It should be able to live one. It should definitely be able to live one. I guess he can knock me off if he wants to as well. Um, Swine Up is going to be nice in this game because it can revenge kill Vullaby as before. I can't just sack it like I did last time. Uh, I can revenge kill Vullaby. Vullaby. Awesome little cup video coming up then. Thank you, friend. I would actually like to make this... Jolly instead of Adamant, that would help out versus Magnemite, maybe? <laughs> I don't know though, but no Specs Blizzard switchings. I don't see them. That is that is a Specs Blizzard switching, but I did freeze it. <laughs> I ended up freezing him. Uh, more than likely it was Choice Scarf. I didn't see any Berry Juice though, so we're going to be able to 2-hit KO. Maybe the freeze didn't matter then. If I 2-hit KO'd him after, uh, after Hero, I guess the freeze didn't matter. So, we're going to be able to get rid of Magnemite. Great. No amount to deal with. However... You can go out into Mankey most likely now. I can see Mankey. I can see Magby. I don't know if Magby would be like Belly Drum or something. Probably just gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna Blizzard again. I'm, I, I can't. I can't switch in on this thing if it's like a some weird Belly Drum set. Uh, so we can go right out into. Well, not weird, but some Belly Drum set. It was just special though. Uh, we can go right out into Baby Envy. Click Return. I don't see any normal resist on my opponent's team now that uh, Magnemite is gone. I'm assuming though this Fire Blast is going to do 10 million, man. I'm assuming he's going to do 10 million if he goes for it, though. It, that, 10 million sounds about right. 10 million damage sounds about right. I would love if my opponent went on to Volibee, though. But I'm not sure if it would be Defog. I'm actually not sure if it would be Defog Volibee. I'm not. Yeah, well, uh, either way, I'm going to go right for the return right here. Get some nice damage off on him. And we'll go route to Pawnyard if he does want to try and defog. Hmm. And uh, we'll hit him with a knockoff. I don't have an appropriate play. Besides that, uh, no knockoff switchings anyway. Mankey comes out, which is great. Because if that was indeed uh, Scarf, we're in a great position. Now, ugh, this is such an obvious play. I don't want to make the not to play. I just want to click Iron Head right here. Because I'm assuming he's going to U-turn. But if you go close combat, either way, not is the best play. Yeah, so... I will be able to bring out our Natu, and uh, we'll just go for Heat Wave because at minus one it should be able to knock on Mankey, and it also hits Vullaby, which is something I want. I don't want Vullaby coming in for free on any hit, and I'll go right back out into Pawnyard, uh, just in case my opponent again wants to defog. Goes for the, uh, the knockoff. Obviously understands that I am now... Uh, should I just go for the Z move? I mean, I'll, I'll weaken his team. I'm just going to go for Z Snatch. Because my opponent wants a Roost, I'll take that Roost too. I also don't get an attack raise, so he's not going to be doing too much damage to me. And plus, it will allow me to outspeed Mankey. And Meow. And uh, Magby. So, we'll go for our Z Snatch right here. Let's see what he wants to go for. Foul play, and he crits me. Great. Um, so now we have to, in return, flinch him with Iron Head. <laughs> if he didn't crit me, I, I would have knocked him off first and then went for Iron Heads. But I have to go for this play. I have no other play that I can go for versus him. Hold up. Hold up. Let's flinch him real quick. No! I was going to try. I should have snatched the uh, the roost. I should have snatched the roost. That would have been so clean. Oh, man. That would have been clean. Um, I didn't end up knocking him off, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to go out this lineup. I do want to expect him to switch, though, and try and win with my baby Envy in the back. So, I'm actually going to get up my Stealth Rock. Uh, because Ice Shard is really... Uh, even if he doesn't switch, I get up Stealth Rock anyway, which chips away more at Magby than Spike would. So even if he wants to go for foul play, for example, I'll live it. I'll get up my rocks, and then I might be able to win with. Uh, I, I may very well be able to win with something like Lit Leo, <laughs> maybe, or even something like Natu, because Natu is very, very threatening with this mon being gone. So I'm gonna get up my. Uh, I'm gonna get up my stealth rock there. Unfortunately, I get crit by knockoff. I think Ice Shark should kill, but I'm gonna go for Crash because we're men of power. Uh, so now we have our full hazards up. Nice. And Meowth can come in if it wants to. 
Meowth is definitely something that can come in. Uh, and just hit me up with um, a fake out. I would do that. I would definitely just go Meowth and click fake out. It goes Magby though. I guess that's also fair because that doesn't let you... Are you Scarf Matt? I have no idea. I'm just going for Earthquake. I have another play. I have no other play. We can go out to Baby Envy though. The Lit Leo. Click return. This is 102 base power. Magby should definitely go down. And it will also 2 a kill. Everything on my opponent's team. I'm thinking between Scarf Natu and Scarf Lit Leo, maybe we can win. Uh, with Scarf Magby. Alright, so we're going to be able to get rid of Magby right there. Keep our hazards up. Meowth can come in if it wants to. It has to fake Meowth. Does that kill? I don't think fake out kills Lit Leo. I don't know, from Meowth? I'm not sure. I'm about to calc this. Meowth. Little Cup Showdown Usage. You're not Life Orb. Lit Leo. Fake Out. That's Life Orb Fake Out. That's Technician Life Orb Fake Out. Hasty. What, what are they giving me? Okay, so I definitely love Fake Out. And we're going to return here. Uh, we gotta break it sash and then just spam psychic to win the game. Yeah, I think that's the only way we can win this game. Assuming, assuming we win the game after that, I don't know. I got, I got, I, I, not today. It doesn't look like it can. I don't think it could beat me out. Plus, uh, Mankey. Yeah, after that hazard, I don't think it knocks it out, man. That's a violate me out. Yeah, and his best play is just to sack. Um, his best play is easily just sack Mankey. Yeah, so I'm just going to say good game. So unfortunately, we still fail to bring out the win, but it's okay. I think you said have a, have a good day. I appreciate you. Um, anyway, just to move on. Um, I How can I do this differently? I'm trying to think of ways we can win with this team. Because this team was so fun. I don't care if I'm losing, though, because I'm still having fun. But I definitely want to win, obviously. Um, I think I use are tough. I could put... Psst, you know what? Protect. There you go. Give me at least some type of move set. So we're gonna put protect on Benefit. Protect should help us out versus fake out users if we keep playing them. Some sort of switcheroo with this. I definitely want up a spike though. Regardless of what my opponent does, I want up a spike. This could be scarf or some speed boosting. Baneri. Not to can click psychic. We'll get up a T spike just in case though. Scarf. I has clutch. Um, and uh, what we can do is I think just click psychic but not today the witch gator definitely lives uh, get her so good in this though because I shard priority I shard is really good versus my opponent's team I don't know if vulpix can live why are we specs I think I'm going to make this thing a violet with <laughs> I'm going to make it a violet with uh, aurora veil I think that will make it that will make it easier for us um Man, there's no way we die to a fire punch. It's unstab. It's not stab. I'm gonna click Blizzard right here. I got Blizzard. We are men of power. Dead. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually making myself like sad. This is so bad. I have a real little cup team, but I really wanted to use this not today team. It's so fun. Like I have, I have a really, I have a solid little cup team or a few solid little cup teams. I'm in for fake out. Okay, I'm not losing this. Man's just faked me out. Why? Definitely not losing this now. <laughs> like, like, Skin just gave me a bunch of teams. Freestyle Lurking, Pearl, all of them. Because, you know, I asked, my, I asked the, uh, the Wolf Pack for some teams right there. But I think we can definitely win this, though. We got full hazards up. Hoo hoo. Is that counter? Go ahead and get Icicle Crash. I should just Ice Shard, to be honest. If this thing defogs, I can't just go Ponyard. I wear men. Go right for the Icicle Crash right here. I'm about to get my kill. I don't care. He hit Hypnosis. Help me. Uh, would you have Heat Wave is the question. Man, we're going Ponyard. He could definitely have Heat Wave. Or he could have Moonblast. I didn't even know who who learned Moonblast. That's so cool. I would have been a nice knockoff right now. And then uh, proceed to just KO everything. With maybe not in the back. I think Litleo actually just wins. Uh, we just got to get rid of Kranidos, which is a problem. Um, but by me going out into this mod, at least it prevents Kranidos from potentially... It was focus, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the lower ladder, so what can you expect? 
I should load up a better team though. I feel like Blender in this game in this live losing every single game. But somehow I'm gonna make it through at the end and win three games in a row. That's the Blender way. That's his Nindo. Freaking <laughs> I <just> say Nindo. <laughs> yeah, I wanna Z move. I'm gonna black hole eclipse this thing. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of this uh Cacnea right in front of me. I could probably Z move and snatch maybe an SD or something. Um assuming he might go for that, but I wanna definitely black hole eclipse him right here. And then uh, again, we're trying to win with Natu, so not today, man. We get, we're just trying. We're trying to win with Natu. At least by going right for the black hole eclipse, uh, it still keeps my Ponyard alive. Assuming it does not go cacti. I mean, it shits 100 EP's power. It's something, something ridiculous like that. Um, that man just got swallowed up. <laughs> uh, that allows me to knock that guy out, and also just give me something in that can deal with. Kranos. Kranos is a big problem. Uh, Natu does get the spam psychic though. Pancham is just pure fighting. If you guys didn't know, Pancham is just straight up pure, pure fighting right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just click knock off. I don't get rid of its potential of eye light. It's folk span as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Uh, anyway, Natu gets to come out and just click psychic and I think just wins the game. Uh, especially with a T spike up. Yeah, so Natsu's just going to click Psychic. We're going to be able to 2-KO Abra, or at least uh, break its Sash, so that way I can win with my Lit Leo in the back. Um, though Abra could definitely, is something that could come in. You'd have to Shadow Ball me with Abra. But what if this guy win because he has a random focus? I mean, he can't, because he has, I have a T-Spike up, thankfully. <laughs> but yeah, if I, um, any of these should work. I guess, can just give me like 50 teams. So his Abra doesn't have Magic Guard. It's very, very, very solid. I will just click Psychic right here. I guess it could be Life Orb. I don't want to switch out to Lit Leo and get... I don't want to switch out to Lit Leo and get, uh... And get, like, Psychic or something. I'm just gonna Psychic do some damage. Get some nice Death Drops. Okay. He does actually end up Shadow Balling. And that is able to knock me out. Oh, man. This guy is, like, Specs or something. But we can go out to Lit Leo. And, uh, Wild Charge should be able to knock you out. And then we also end up beating down. I expected to kill Natu from 100%. That man is. That's, that's, is that actually specs? We should end up still beating down Kranidos. I don't care. We should be able to beat down Kranidos. We're about to get a first turn wake, if anything. I'm not about to lose to the focus bad user. <laughs> nah, but we should be able to beat down Kranidos uh, with the combination of recoil plus potentially Kranidos' own recoil. Oh, that was not enough. It was not enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The focus bank. It's leftovers. No. I can't. He has fire. But it's definitely killing me. Go ahead and wake up right here. It's Gator. Save yourself. Gator, save yourself. You have to say, I'm not waking up. I don't deserve it. You had a focus ban. Focus ban preserves. The game is over. I have lost. I ended up losing to that. Without. <laughs> yeah, we're switching teams. We're switching teams. I need... We are switching teams. We are switching teams right now. There we go. We got the haste bin. We got the, we got the tech right now. Choice. Ooh, ooh. I can't switch teams now though. I can't. It's. I can't. I rather straight up keep losing, and get blown back by all these threats, than switch team. But I definitely think that I should have went um, to. I feel like I should have went to Lit Leo. But the main reason I didn't want to is because if it was Rock Polish Kranidos, I think it would have came down to. Um, then again, if it was like Rock Polish, Life Sheer Force, I think it would have came down to me waking up with Swine Up anyway. I think I could have played that end game better though. We're getting up spikes and we're winning this game now. Just watch. I've had enough. I should have had enough. He has Bulbasaur. This man has Bulbasaur. He's about to celebrate. Atomize. Oh man. And I don't have any. <laughs> I think we also just lose to this. That's fun. Um, I don't have any way of uh, actually dealing damage to him. I can break it sturdy though right now with the pin missile, which is what I'm gonna do. But after that, I think I just lose. Assuming uh, like Lit Leo, which definitely shouldn't be faster, I just lose to this. Carcass just destroyed me. This isn't Live Iron Head. There's no way this thing dies to. I'm gonna trick it. I should be faster. I would love to have Natsu in this game because it actually just scarfs Psychics away on my opponent, but I need to not lose to the Aeron first. Man's double edge. Okay, so we're good. We're definitely good. We're going to reverse sweep him right now. Go on into my Pawn Yard. 
Just click Z Snatch and win. I think that's the play. Um, Natsu, Scarf Natsu was so good versus my opponent. It was so, so, so good versus my opponent. But I, I, I just couldn't risk just losing straight up to that arrow. What, what if I lose the Scarf Aaron in the back later? <laughs> no, uh, because um, Return can also sweep him. So, get a nice kill right there. Let's focus Ash but Weasel. Interesting. I don't know what that does. Then again, these aren't probably the best examples. Thank you, friend. This can just PM me, send me teams. I appreciate you, buddy. Bulbasaur gonna come out. Can I snatch a Zelda? I don't think I can snatch a Z move. We're just gonna go for the uh, the Iron Head here. As he sees me up, I'm okay. Easy knockoff though. No switchings. <laughs> Skid said good luck with the reps. I, I, I don't I, the uh, the Rex. I don't think he. I don't think he means after if he sees this game, this this live. <laughs> and the guy got the double protect. No, <laughs> no. I should just knocked off. I thought it was Z. I mean, knock off was still the better play anyway, even if it's set up because I could go for Iron Head after. And if it wasn't Z move, it's leftovers too. I don't encourage like leftovers in Little Cup. Um, the recovery isn't as much as something like Berry Juice. I can definitely knock this guy out, and I am faster with the Brick Break. So at least I didn't lose. To the air on because of not today. Because of not today. Get out. I love a rock polish air on is another mod that I love so much in Diamond and Pearl. Uh, Little Cup. Why do I keep saying Diamond and Pearl? DVP Little Cup. It's just so fun. Honestly, just so fun. Choice specs. Because you could just rock polish up and head smash everything. That was the best part. Just head smashing every mod. Too bad you can't do Z Snatch and Dark Hole Eclipse on the same set. Alright, so I think we're going to look for another game because Polyar ended up cleaning up. And I'm going to say that this win was brought to you by Not Today. Uh-oh. The Focus Sash. No. Right, that doesn't that doesn't matter because I do have the, uh, the It's Gator in the back. About to click this Adamant Life Orb. Ooh, Adamant Life Orb. That's, that's how It's Gator talk. Mmm, Adam. Mmm, mm, yummy. Mmm. Let's knock him out with the eye shot. That's going to be a game. Alright, so let's keep looking. I'm going to keep going. It doesn't matter. I'm about to like lose all points for Rex. <laughs> um, because we do have, thankfully now, Protect on Venipi, we're actually a little bit better off versus these these users. I don't know if my opponent would actually go for it. Web. I'm gonna pin missile. He set up webs in the face of a a Zatu, man. Come on, bro. I got four hits. I can knock him out here. I want a T spike up though. Not to, not to, or Zatu, or not to. Uh, that helps out Ponyard's case in the end. Alright, so we're going to get up our uh, T-Spikes here. Hmm. Can I beat this guy? I'm going not to, man. Yeah. You got your rocks for me. I appreciate you. Hit him with a nice U-turn right now. There you go. Go ahead and get up your rocks. You can spin them away if you want to. But I can always go out into uh, Ponyard now. Get my attack boost. And I think kind of win. Yeah, I think I win. Unless this thing knocks me out, Earthquake. Should I just go for the... Let's go for Sea Snatch, man. I don't, I don't care. Let's go. Yeah, that's fine. I think we win. Uh, I sure don't think we win. We are plus 2 attack, plus 1 speed. That's 22 speed. Uh, I guess something like Cyndaquil... No, you wouldn't run Sticky Web if you have a Scarf Cyndaquil. There's just no way. There's just... Why'd you send that out? That died. Okay. Well, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you are running... There's no way you are running, um, like, Scarf Cyndaquil. I just hit him with iron. I don't know if this knocks it out. I mean, it's 38 attack, though. That's a lot. Considering they're level 5. And, man, you do not bulk up in the face of a plus 2 enemy, my friend. No. No, no, not today. No. Frillish? All right, this is dying. Yeah, he lost. Clean. All right, so, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, it's okay if my opponent gets up Sticky Web because Pioneer is good. I mean... Like, I don't think he... It's Choice Scarf for this one. I don't think he should have set up a bulk up on the Enfu. I also think I should have went for Spike. I think I also should have went for Spike, but I really did like T-Spike versus my opponent. Is Scarf Cynical? This could still win if it's Scarf Cynical. Uh, Scarf Cynical Lava Oh my god. Okay. So. Thankfully, we have a Lit Leo right here. And we're just going to click Return. And uh, there's no way Apom wins um, because I do have. Uh, there's no way Apom wins because I do have not only the Stealth Rock, 
but also the T-Spike, I can get up Hail as well. Hail is really solid versus my opponent, and I have Ice Shard in the back. And plus, I have Scarf Nazi, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, so we're going to sack this month. Doesn't even knock me out with knockoff, so I should be able to put him in range of poison really, really soon. And yeah, he could just knock me out, and we're going to win with Ed's Gator in the back. Or should we win with Natsu? I don't know. I want to win. I think Natsu is the way to go. I think Natsu is definitely the way to go. Yeah, so knocks me out with knockoff. I don't matter, but not today. No, 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 no. We're going to hit him up with a nice Psychic, and then we get our victory. Not bad. I'm going to start looking for another one. Ah, not too finishing it off clean. Yeah, I really am getting blown back in this uh, live. But I mean, I don't want to blame the team. I think there's definitely some end games that I could have been played uh, differently. I just, I don't know, stuff like this is just so fun. I don't know. I just want to, I just want to use a fun team and chill, and you know, also try and teach. Uh, but Benabi is my opponent's lead of choice. I'm gonna protect because um, this allows me to not. Risk the speed tie. I, I, I have better chances to beat him 1v1 because of this. I'm assuming this is like bandit then if he went for a quick attack. Oh, it's life orb. Okay. So, got up a nice spike here. And uh, what we can do is click pin missile. Only reason I didn't get up a T spike is because he had a fungus, though I would love T spike versus my opponent's team, obviously. This mod is a problem. What the hell? This mod is a huge problem. I will go lit Leo, though. Just click return. Woo! <laughs> Almost click facade. We'll click our scarf return. Get our moxie boost. His normal resist is Kranidos, which obviously comes out now. <laughs> I'm looking for my answer to this. This is his rocker though. Zatsu. Zatsu is great because it deals with fungus. It doesn't. He doesn't have a psychic answer. I'm. Gonna, I'm just gonna sack my uh, Volpix though. It does deal with uh, these mons. I uh, though it does deal with mons like. Um, like Fungus and Chincha because of Freeze Drive. I'd much rather be able to get in something like my Swine on now, for example, and just click Ice Shard and knock him out. Assuming it does knock him out. But he's not in Swine. I don't know. What is knocking him out? I'm gonna go for this anyway. I don't care if you go me on I have Natsu in the back. Yeah, I really don't mind this Mon. I have Natsu. Plus, I could see a knockoff coming. Um, if I think I'm, he's gonna go for knockoff, I should just go for Earthquake here. Over over going out into Zatu. Because, like I said, Natsu, Natsu gets to come in, right? The boy gets to click Psychic. The boy gets to click Psychic right now. Gets rid of Mianfu. Gets rid of Mianfu. I get a crit too. So that mod is definitely dead. I get rid of Mianfu right there. Chin Chow comes out. Are you Scarf? If you Scarf, I don't have a choice. I have to stand and click, uh, I have to stand and click Psychic anyway. We're trying to weaken this man. Larvesta comes out. That is fine. That is fine. Everything is fine. Go right out to Lit Leo. We click return, you can't put me to sleep. Or you can't burn me, excuse me. Click return. Weaken that Larvesta for the pawn yard in the back. And I think we're gonna lose to Kranados. Huh. Unfort. Now I think I think we could still win. Definitely think we could still win. Assuming it's not Scarf Kranados. It has to go for superpower to knock me out. Or earthquake, rather. Okay. So is it Scarf there's no way you're you're rocks. You have to be oh you don't I guess he doesn't have to be rocks. Yeah, he doesn't have to be. Alright, so we lost that game. <laughs> I got blown back by that mon. Man! Nianfu is an issue. How do I switch in around this mon? And my opponent has like a really, really solidly built team right here. Ponyta is my favorite mon ever to lose, use in Little Cup. Um, Venipede is his lead. No, oh, excuse me. Uh, Scrub is his lead. I've led Venipede in every game, so you should know by now what I do with it. Uh, but we'll be able to get up some nice hazards. How do I kill this mon after? What is my game plan to killing this mon? I think I'm gonna get a T spike. Uh, because if he wants to switch around, I can now go on to Specs Vulpix. I doubt it Okos. I doubt it Okos, but he also doesn't have good switching to Specs Freeze Dry. Because if you go Ponyta, it gets um if you go Ponyta, it gets um poisoned. And I end up living, which is great. So if you go Ponyta, it gets poisoned. Uh, if he uh, goes out to a potential defog Vullaby, though, I don't know, I kind of doubt it'd be defog. Basically, he had no switchings, and I keep up a Taka Spike, which is what I wanted, okay? He can go out to Diglett and Revenge kill me right now, but he has no switchings. Vullaby? Really? This is Specs Freeze Dry. Man, if I would have known that would have done only 29%, I would have just went hard Pawnyard. I would have been a hard partner. Uh, I'm still gonna switch though. 
definitely not going to switch. I, I don't want him roosting up. And getting rid of Vullaby is great for Ponyard, uh, though he does have Focus Sash Abra. He has Mianfu, and he does have uh, Polita. Either way, Mianfu's out. Go to for U-turn. Is that thing Scarf? I can't even tell if it's Scarf. You can't tell. It's a little cup. What, how am I supposed to tell? <laughs> I'm not. I'm definitely not. But we can go out into Lit Leo after. Um, I'm assuming he's going to go Ponyta. Goes Diglett. Which gives me Swine Up as a switching. And I think I just get to click Earthquake here. I don't want to click Ice Shard because I don't want him to expect that. I, I would love to get up Rocks. And I just died to a Crit Earthquake. Great. Don't know if that mattered. Who's to say? I really don't know if that mattered. Man, there's no way I didn't live that attack. I'm Swine Up. I'm Swine Up. I'm definitely, uh, I definitely live that attack. About to break this sucker punch. No, he's gonna go for rock. If he has sucker punch, he'll probably go for it. Yeah. So I'll go out into my scarf, let Leo. Click return. Though he can click sucker punch again. I'll probably just win with scarf. I jump kick, if anything. I'm assuming he figured out yeah, that I'm this set. But if I have any way of winning, it's gonna be potentially versus. I have to go for Z Snatch. It just makes me sad that he crit me right there. I don't know if he was focused, Sash Diglett. He might have been. He definitely could have been. I have to go off a miss anyway. If you're Scarf, Mianfu, or a crit. Oh, nice! I just killed it. Good. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Potential? No. Yeah, he went Pony. I, okay. I, I, he should not have went Ponyta. He should have went Abra first, unless it's like not Sash Abra, but they all are. Um. Yeah, and he can't knock me out anyway. Why do you go out to Ponyta? Nice. You might have stopped Baby Envy's Moxie, but Baby Envy is still here. And I have Zatu in the back to win. Let's go. What just happened? Baby Envy. This, this is how Envy wins his lives, too. It just happened. I just straight up won with Envy. Was he not Sash? There's no way he's not Sash Abra. He wasn't Sash Abra this entire time. Let's go. Let's go. Envy came through in the back. I barely made it out of the 1000s of this game. You know what? I still enjoyed this live, even though it was just me getting tossed on my neck. I hope you guys all enjoyed um, sort of less serious live. I definitely need to use the better teams that Sken has passed me, as well as just my team in general. Um, and I probably will be. So, I'll see you guys later, of course. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. Pick up the Beast Boost merch if you want. Beast Boost. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.